Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, Representative Long, we did have a little discussion about this in committee. In fact, I offered an amendment banning slavery from the supply chain of green energy products, and every single Democrat voted against that amendment, and every single Republican voted for it. So many of you may have noticed over the weekend we celebrated Juneteenth, the emancipation of slavery in America, and it's been 156 years, and Republicans are still fighting against the Democrats' support for slavery. It has been a long time, and it doesn't stop. We fight for the rights of the individual, and we do not see support for slavery as being something we should be voting for in the Minnesota House. And the difference, Chair Long, between a cell phone battery, which is about two ounces, and which is purchased privately, uh, versus a 2,000-pound battery in school buses for our children, is that taxpayers are not mandating that I buy this, taxpayers are not funding this, and we are not taking money from the taxpayers watching this video to send millions of dollars overseas to slave owners. We should be taking a stand against doing this. And I'll tell you why we can't ban slavery from the supply chain of solar panels, is because it would ban all solar panels. There are not solar panels that are made, mined, processed, and manufactured and assembled and recycled without using slave labor, which means we should start somewhere by not funding it today. That's the problem. We have a major problem. No one is going to make the changes if the United States government and all of our states are propping up slave owners around the world. We need to take a stand. Thank you, Madam Speaker.